in this video, I will um, shortly run through how the OLA operations function in QGIS. So it basically does run what does the dialog box look like and what will the results be. So to do this, I have um, made this um, QGIS. So I have um, two layers, layer A and layer B, and uh, each of them have a attribute of, so the A has attribute name, and layer B has an attribute name B. So that's um, <clears throat> the basic setup. We go to the processing toolbox. We have this vector overlay, and we have some of the basic tools here. I'll talk about clip and difference and intersection and symmetrical uh, difference and union. So if we um, start at the beginning, a clip. So a clip uses one layer as a clipping on the other layer. So in this case, if I clip whatever I clip A or B, I will get this part here in the middle, which is the part that will be overlapping. The difference between, if you look at this, if I just run the tool, it says, okay, I have an input layer. That's the layer that's going to keep its attribute. So I'll use A and I'll have an OLA. So that's the one that's going to be used for the clipping. And we can just run this tool. And if I go to layers and I'll just go to this, uh, we can uh, see that if I just turn my widgets off, we've got this little one here. And hopefully it has an attribute of A. So if I make sure it's selected, we see that it has an attribute of A because A was the input layer and B was the overlay layer. So the clip spatially will um, look very much like the intersect. So if I go and run the intersect tool of A and B, on this, close it, and go to my layers, and turn off my Oh, I've seen the intersect, sorry. So that was here. So we can see that intersect and clip, they have the same spatial uh, extent. But if I use my eye tool to query my intersection, you can see that it has a FID of one and a FID two of two. And then it has a name A and a name two B. So it has attributes from both of the input layers as opposed to if I use the eye tool on my clip layer, I only have one FID and one name. So intersect and clip gives the spatially the same result, but gives attribute wise very different result. Um, the difference, so that is, where we, uh, where we, that the clip function as a cookie cutter where we get what's inside the cookie of the dough, where the difference gives us what's outside. So if we use the clip tool and again run on A as our input and our B was going to be the one we're clipping on and it should give us the part of A that is not part of B. So we run this tool, we get this result. It's, um, I have here. So this is the part of A. Remember, we had our A and B. So the part of A that is not B. So that's the result of the difference tool. 
So the clip gives us, if you think of it as a cookie cutter, we're using one layer, the input as our dough, and the other layer, the lower layer as our cookie cutter. Then clip gives us what's inside the cookie cutter of the dough, while our difference gives us what's outside the cookie cutter of the dough. Um, union is um, now really commonly used. We run union. Again, run it on A and our B as our early. So we have it's a, a limitation in QGIS that you can only union two layers. In principle, you could union many. You can do this in ArcGIS Pro, but in QGIS, we only union two layers at the time. So we run this, close it, and uh, ask for our sort. Okay, so union was in that box there. So this is our union. What we should note here is that there are three objects here. So this one over here has an A. Oops, oh, I was on the wrong layer. Sorry. Don't take that one off. So here we have a, a do it again. Sorry, sorry. Ah, now I'm using the union layer. So here we have a A and then we have a we have a FID and a FID2 and a name and name two. This that we had when we did the intersect. But in this first one, twos are null. If this middle one has values in both of those, and in the last one, the FID and the name are null. But also, if we open the attribute table, it's easier to see also that so this one up here, where we only have the values in the B, so that's over there. This one, where we only have the values in the A, that's over there. And this one where we have value in both of them, that's there. So that's the basics of the union. So the union gives us all the air covered by the two input layers. So our original two input layers back here. But now we have, instead of having two objects, we have three objects because there are one, two, three unique combinations. Find one which is not so commonly used is the symmetrical difference. So symmetrical difference is a where we say it's we can only give what is R A or B, but not what is in both. So in this case, we will say A and B, and run this, and close it, and go to our layers and turn off the originals, turn on this one, and turn off my union. So here we have, so we have the A and the B and nothing where there was both of them. If we use our attribute or I tool, we have again, AFID and AFID2 and the name and name two. But here we can see that we have one and one. So FID is one, name is A, and in this one over here, we have ID two is two, and name two is B. So it's, it's the same, let's say, attribute structure as in the union, but without this middle piece. So we have the symmetrical difference, we have the union. Let's clear the selection here. So we have the union. We had the difference, we had the clipped, and we had the intersection. So those are the basic OLA tools so that they function in QGIS. So I um, hope that this really, really, really short introduction to them was helpful. So see you in another video. Bye.